Dominique, and I'm rocking out with Shot Town. 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 Shot Town
you know, when when I say Eminem is one of the greatest rappers, yeah. he really proved he that. He really proved that. And, like, you know, just with his whole, you know, his just body of work overall was just always so creative and just thinking outside of the box with things and really just being himself and just true to himself. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, you know, with all the, you know, um, backlash he probably got for being a white rapper and yeah, everything, yeah. you know, he still kind of just did him and he just didn't give a damn. You know, that's yeah. what I liked about him. He didn't care. He was just like, look. Whatever. Really? <laughs> and the whole little eight mile movie, I swear that was my favorite movie, y'all. I could probably do every single like word for word yeah. <laughs> part of the they little uh ciphers and stuff they have. But yeah, Eminem is definitely one of my favorites. Um Lil Wayne as well, the Carters. Okay, okay. Uh those some of my summer hits back in the day, you know, when I was like in middle school and things just g- driving around. I could probably definitely. recite that whole C D as well. Um yeah, it just go back. Aaliyah, she was one of my favorite singers back in the day. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I just I'm in love with that great, you know, 90s, 2000s music. I don't feel like it's... Go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I want to ask you this because what do you think about today's music? And and, and maybe I, I don't want to knock them because yeah, that's... You know, I don't want to knock them. I will just say it's different. You, you know, um, back in the day, you know, having that lyrical ability, you know mm. what I mean, made you talented, made you raw, made you have something. And now nowadays it just doesn't seem to be that it's more so what's lit, you know, real, what, real, what real. has a dope beat behind it and yeah. you just have some lit ad libs and you on, you know what I mean? It's not really the same kind of content as it was back in the day where it made you feel a certain exactly. way, you know, um, no shade to the new ones, you know, it's just that, you know, my bad. I'm yeah, sorry. that's okay. <laughs> I just felt like, you know, music was definitely, uh, on a deeper level, you know, back, you know, back in the day it was, yeah. you know, and okay. you know, it's changing and, I guess we have to learn and appreciate the change because, you know, back in the day, our parents probably, I mean, I I ain't going to say that. I'm just saying, you know, back in the day, our parents probably said the same thing about what we consider great music. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they did. And so now we're at the age where we're just like, ah, this is what y'all listening to. You know, kind of how my parents did back in the day. So see, that's that's my whole thing is that I I respect it to a, to a a extent. extent. Yeah. But, Where's the like you said the creativity, creativity. of it? Where's mm-hmm. the I don't, there's no substance. It's no substance at all with the material nowadays, and uh, you know uh, we have to appreciate the ones who are still you know trying to stick to that, like the J. Coles and the Kendrick yeah. Lamar's. We have to appreciate those ones who are still around, you know, just trying to keep it afloat, man. Like you know, so I salute anybody who's out here, you know, mm. spitting some real knowledge and you know have music with a substance. And I can't knock the little youngins who coming up too, you know. I can't really yeah, knock them, yeah. you know, but. Hey, yeah. it was greater back in our day. Definitely, man. <laughs> what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come right back, man, and uh, I'm gonna talk to you, Kaylee, man, because we we got a lot of things to talk Some about juiciness, here. Juiciness, man, y'all yeah. stay tuned. Definitely, man. The call in number is three one two nine eight five seven eight thirty four. If you want to talk to a man, Kaylee Crossfire is in the building, bro. <laughs> tell her your pastors, your sisters, your brothers. I don't know what you want to tell your pastors, tell everybody. but just tell them. <laughs> tell the man, man, downstairs. Tell them to tune in. So we're going to come right back. And I know you say you like lyrical stuff, so I got a treat for you. We're going to okay. come right back. The one and only DJ Malone, Ebony Care, is on her way. We're going to come right back. Let's go. Boy DJ Malone, and we've been live. Damn, DJ Malone went in on that mix. Bam. Now let's get back with the hottest topic DJ Malone and Ebony Kiara. Remember what you heard it first. Shot Town Urban Radio. Yo, it's the one and only DJ Malone, man. Man, we, we turn it up in here, man. We getting it in. Yeah. We still got my girl, man. Katie Crossfire, how you feeling, man? I'm good. In the building. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is, man. <laughs> now talk to me, man. Talk to me. Now you got this. You got these tracks. Yes. And I, I, I want to talk about the damn daddy first. Let's, oh yeah, for sure. Let's talk about that. See, damn daddy is like my new ladies' club anthem. Okay. You know, I just felt like it was time, you know, to come back out with some my neck, my back. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> My neck, my neck, that Kyra sound. I just thought it was time to bring that strong, fierce, 
woman back. You know real. what I'm saying? Who just didn't care about, you know, just spoke her mind and real, just said real. it said it exactly, you know, how she's feeling. So okay. um that's pretty much what my song Damn Daddy is. And okay. you know, it, it's it's a nice little club joint. I think the ladies definitely gonna appreciate this once they hear this in the clubs. Okay. They gonna really appreciate that. Okay, well we definitely we're definitely gonna rock it. Um who produced the track? Um, the song was produced by um, um, I'm sorry, I just forgot my producer's name. Lord, oh I my! Just went blank. Oh, he gonna kill me. Uh, Ooh. RBS Music. I'm sorry, I went blank. You know, I work with a few different. <laughs> I work with a few different. <laughs> It's so I didn't good. want to say the wrong name, but my uh, guy RBS uh, music, he's pretty okay. dope. Yeah. Have, you, have you came out with a video for it yet? No, actually, I plan on shooting the video to it um, beginning of May. Okay. So I'm, I'm working towards it. I'm doing something different in this joint. I don't want to give it away. Okay. Um, it's it's going to be different, though, from some of my last videos. Um, and if, you know, the viewers, I'm sorry, the listeners would like to check out some of my music uh, okay. and the new videos and everything, they could go uh, to my website, www.kayleecrossfire.com. Okay. Um, as well, they're on YouTube. YouTube as well, or they can check out my Facebook fan page, Kaylee Crossfire. Definitely. Um, so for sure, um, that's where all my music videos, you know, everything will be. And, okay. Um, so they can go check out those videos to see how nice and different and creative the Damn Daddy video will okay. be. Okay. So. Right. Are you going to introduce the track? Oh yeah, for sure. You guys are going to be listening to my new club banger, Damn Daddy. Let's go, Shotgun of a Radio, Kaylee Crossfire, Damn Daddy. Damn Daddy. Let's go. <laughs> That boy right there had a big old. Yeah. Hey man, damn daddy. Damn daddy. Damn daddy. Damn daddy. Damn daddy. I, I, I got something. I got something. Hold on. Check this out. Damn DJ Malay. <laughs> Close. Yeah. It's all Not good. Hey, but you know what, though? Who used to say damn a lot? No, Martin. It was Martin. Oh, yeah, he did. Damn, he sure did. Gina. Damn, Gina. Damn, Gina. <laughs> Definitely, man. That hey, I deal. like that joint, well, though, man. thank you so much. You know what you remind me of? A, um, a You have that same type of... Um, remember Brooke Valentine with the girl fight? Oh, yeah. That's it's about to be... <laughs> I, I remember that joint. You remind, you, yeah, you remind me of her, man. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's what it is. So, I like her. I like her. So what are you hoping to do with the song? How are you promoting the song? Well, you know, right now, you know, I just came back from Atlanta. Um, I had a, a radio interview down there on their uh, station, um, Urban Underground Radio um, in Atlanta. Um, also, I did a performance. Performed the song for the first time at the Peacock in Atlanta. Okay. Um, and that club was pretty dope. Like I just didn't know so much rich history came from that place. You know, yeah, it's been yeah. around for a while and um just being able to be on the same stage as all those greats, you know, it was it was dope. And I got a really great response to okay. the song. Um just me performing it for the first time ever. So was that was that your first time going that was outside? My first time. Oh no, no, no. I've been to Atlanta several times. Okay. That was my um first time back there, probably for a few years. Okay. Um okay. I did some stuff in Vegas. Uh, in December as well. Okay. Um, but that you know, me going to Atlanta with me just basically promoting the single, same thing you know as I'm doing here Real. with you guys, and really do appreciate you guys having me out. Oh man. Um, so yeah, um, my goal with this is just to have it in all the clubs, man. I'm just you know around, just trying to promote it as much as possible because I really Real. think it has great potential. You know, um, you know everyone who hear it, you know they give me a really great response to it. So Real. you know that makes me feel real good. You know, so. Real. Yeah, I just want my ladies to know I'm out here. I'm representing for the ladies, you know, and as grinding. well. Grinding for the ladies, you know, that strong, independent fierceness. We we got that. Real, and I'm, I'm bringing that to my girls. So. Who would you like to work with going into the future? If you could work with anybody, who would that be? If I could work with someone in the industry right now, male, female, Any, anybody, any, anybody, I'll give you one of each. Okay. Drake would be my male okay. selection just because of his versatility and, you know, my versatility as well. I just think it, we'd just create something real dope together. Okay. Um... And female wise, I would love to work with Beyonce, of course. Okay. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, of course. Like you know, that girl power. I love it. I yeah. love when they came together and did that collaboration. Okay. Um something, okay. you know, people may not know about me is I'm I'm really pro female when it comes to my ladies okay. in the industry. Right. You know, I just feel like breaking through as a female heart is as difficult as it is. So I just feel like my ladies, you know, we need to be on one accord. We need to always come together and support each other, which is why back home I throw uh, female takeover showcases. Okay. Um, and I'm actually pl planning uh, to throw the third annual female takeover showcase. And it's just, you know, showing love to my ladies. It's about unity. It's not about people thinking that 
that you know females in the industry always have to come against each other real, like real. we can't all be on top at one time you know it is possible you know real. what i mean um so i just love you know doing it for my ladies you okay. know what i mean so, so definitely would like to you know network with some ladies in the future so what would your thoughts on the nikki and remy situation yeah <laughs> the nikki and remy situation uh, i'm gonna be 100 with you the sheather yeah, Remy gave it to Nikki on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to be 100. She just came with that fierceness. She just came with that delivery, the bar, well, the bars, you know, yeah. of course. Um, and, you know, Nikki, you know, she's been doing her thing. And, you know, she's really commercial and things like that. But I just felt like when it came to overall content that Remy did give it to her. For okay. Now. She probably should have left that second one alone, though. Yeah, yeah. It, there was no <laughs> it, it need. Just, it just was no need. Like, she did her justice with the first one. You well, know what I mean? So. See, my whole thing was, um, and 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 she she was saying something, uh -huh. but she was not on key. Yeah. And you talking about Remy? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, she's been going a while. It's going to take a minute for yeah. her to, you know what I'm saying, get that little, the, 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 the delivery wasn't the greatest yeah. to me. You yeah. know, if that's what you're, is that yeah. what you yeah. mean as well? It's just the, yeah. the, the flow of the execution, yep. it wasn't yep. there yep. for me. But the bars were there, but that execution, that yeah. delivery, you know, exactly. she didn't punch it the way I would have liked her to. Um, I love them, you know, yeah. I, I do love them, but I'm just be real with it. Like, I think she did her thing on there, you know what I mean? Like, 100% she did, you know, bar-wise, okay. you know. Okay. Well, that's I hate mean. to see it happen, though. You know, I hate to see my ladies just have to do that, though, but you I know? Like, I, for me, I like it because that's hip-hop. Yeah, that's hip-hop. I guess it's good for the culture, you yeah. know what I mean? But eh, why, though, you know? I, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it just seemed like when ladies are at top, that's how I feel like it has to be. You know real, what I mean? Real. It's like, it, why does it have to be that... Two can't, you know, exactly, two can't yeah. do it at the same time. Why two female hip hop ladies can't do it at the same time? Real, you real. know what I mean? And it's kind of like I feel like, you know, as soon as uh, Remy got out, it, it seemed like people was already putting her against Nikki when I she give, got I out. Give you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like ASAP, oh, she's gonna kill Nikki. She's gonna come for her head. Like, you know, and that kind of just set the tone, the wrong vibe. And then, you know, bow, and then the explosion happened, you know? Man. So. I hope later on down the line they can get together and, and you know come together because it's real, just, real. It, I mean it was cool you know they did the thing but okay. let's let's be on one accord let's you know take over together man real. That's, how that's, I feel. that's what it is now let's get into this new joint and I'm I'm really thinking this is gonna be some juicy stuff juicy. a eye for an eye eye for an eye yes talk that's to us my, about that yes eye for an eye is my storytelling R and B banger okay I actually got a dope video that the fellas will probably appreciate a lot if y'all go check that out and, and they can go <laughs> they can go to your website and, and check it they out they can definitely go to my website and they can also um, view it on YouTube okay. and it's also on my Facebook uh, fan page Kaylee Crossfire so it's, it's a nice little creative twist that everything the fellas Kaylee enjoy. Crossfire people. Yes, everything Kaylee Crossfire. So y'all right. make sure you guys check that out. And this is my new single, Eye for an Eye. Okay, definitely, man. We're going to break it right here on Side Town Number Radio. Is everybody ready for? Damn, DJ Malone. Malone. Let's go. Town number radio, the best place to be at on any day radio. It's the one and only DJ Malone, man. We still got my girl into the building. Ka Kaylee Crossfire. Crossfire. <laughs> I like how she did that, man. I like that. It's my little signature Definitely, right man. <laughs> now, eye for eye. Yes. So, what does that? What did that mean to you, man? Where, what you place what? were you at? I was in a place where you know I feel like women, you know. Sometimes we just try to make a bad situation work. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, so 
that's around the time you know um, some issues was going on and I'm just like you know what I'm trying to make it work with you and it's kind of like I seeked out revenge okay. but that didn't necessarily make me feel better at all you know because if you just don't have the trust anymore it's, it's not just not going to work you know okay. period so you know that's just for my ladies uh, <laughs> you know that's just for my ladies I just want them to know like you know if it's just not working just let it go you know we right, try to right. hold on to stuff and we don't need to just, just let it go you know because everything sometimes people are placing your life just to show you some things and for you to grow from it you know what i mean right, right. so i do oh, let me ask you this do you think once a cheater always a cheater <laughs> i think that the trust is never going to be the same you know mm. um okay. you know if if you do try to come from it it's going to take a while for you to gain that trust especially if you was a person who you know had those issues going into your relationship where it was just really hard for you to trust someone you know, and then if they do that, then it's just kind of, you know, it, it's it's not going to be all the way right. You're always going to be kind of wondering yeah, what yeah. if, where I are you really saying. at, who you really with, you know. Um, I'm not saying that it, it won't work. I'm just saying it's going to be a little difficult at first to just get over that. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to snap back from something like that. And, you know, it's going to take some time. I, me personally, I don't know if I could do it if. Well, here, here's my thing. I, and if I cheated before, I can't really say anything. Yeah. Um, but if I'm been being completely faithful to mm-hmm. you, I can't bounce back yeah. from that. Cause my head is gonna be too. And I guess that's up. true too. Like you know, I, I guess the betrayal gonna hurt, you know, yeah. really bad. You know, especially when you've been holding somebody down and really just being by their side. And like you said, yeah. too, just real, you know, 100 percent faithful. Yeah, definitely. You know. Now, personally, me, <laughs> okay. if we really want to get into that, I kind of feel the same as you do. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I, I've seen people in situations like the one I was saying. Like, exactly. you know, they can make it work. They, you know, they try to after it's happened. You know, I yeah. I, ha- I do know people who have, who have done that. But me personally, I'm, I'm with you on that. Like, yeah. if I've been holding you down and loyal and, you know, and just being 100% the best woman that I can be and you did not find that. I was all you needed, yeah. then that's it's, what, that's it's what probably it going to be a done one. So how do you balance <laughs> your personal life and your business life? Um, That's a good question. I'm still learning. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still learning. Like, I'm not going to say that I'm perfect in those areas. I'm going to say that I'm still learning how to juggle everything. Real, real. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because it's a lot when you're, you know, out here grinding and, you know, then you have your personal life. You have personal things that, you know, that you have to take care of. Real, real. You know, me personally, I, I kind of went through a situation before where I felt like I wasn't going to be able to do music because real. of things that was going on in my personal life. Okay. And, um, you know, I just had to wake up one day and just realize, like, this is my life. You know, these are the cards I've been dealt and I have to make the best of it. I have to figure out a balance because this is what I love to do. You know what I mean? So and it's kind of working now and I'm just still, you know, finding out ways and just having the support of my family, you know, there to help me. You know, that makes the business, you know, a lot easier as well. So, okay. Now being uh, now from Milwaukee, Mm -hmm. it's and I'm not saying that there hasn't been anybody to come out of there. But it hasn't been anybody to come out of there in a while. Yeah. So do you ever feel like you have to have that, not a burning, but you have to put Milwaukee on your back and say, I got to ride for, for I do for my feel city? that way. I really do. And just like you said, there hasn't been anyone who has come out of the city in a while. And I guess I want to. And, and I don't really think there's been any ladies who've come out of there. You know, I will say rest in peace to Lala. She was yes, somebody yes. who was, you know, from my city. Beautiful, beautiful voice. You know, um, you know, she was someone from my city who who did, you know, do some things, you know. But since her, it hasn't been anyone. So I just feel like I am doing this for myself, for my family, and for my city. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And for the girls, you know, um, who are watching me come up, you know. Because I just want to be, like, a positive role model. And I do want to be the one who, you know, my city, you know, be like, dang, she did it. You know what I mean? Because I I have a lot of supporters. And, you know, they just want to see me do well. And I just pray for it. And I'm just going to continue hustling until it happens. Hey, that's what you have to do, man. I always tell people, when the the going get tough, to keep on pushing. Just keep pushing. You know, it's going to be things that hold you back in life. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's how my life is set up. I promise you, y'all. Y'all would not just believe the crazy things that happen to me where I'm just like, damn, this is the devil. He is trying me. He's trying to get me. He's trying to break me down. Real. But I will not give up that easy. (laughs) You know what I mean? So I'm just continuing to push and, you know, do as much as I can and just, you know, it will pay off. You know what I mean? It is paying off. You know, I look at my progression, you know, from when I first started to now. And, you know, if I just keep hustling, I know it'll, it'll, 
it'll happen. We'll see. And and, and that's why I always tell people I've been DJing. Ooh, I'm 29 now. Mm-hmm. I've been DJing since I was like 13 or 14. Right. I started taking it seriously at maybe 18 or 19. Right. And, and you're it, great. Yeah. I was just telling you how great of you know of a job I know that you're doing. I see it. I hear it. it you know, like it, but it, <laughs> it does it does take time. And I think mm-hmm. in this day of age, especially with millennials, they're so I need it now. Yeah. If, if it's not and happening now, it's never gonna happen. No, and that's not true. You know, everything you know takes time. You know what I mean? And you're gonna even when you make it, you still you know working on yourself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You still improving. You're still going to be you know you know evolving into you know greater you know real, real. so it, it I, I understand it just takes a lot of patience you real, know and real. hard work and dedication and just stick to it and just don't give up on it before, you know? before we get into your other track i want to ask you this and this is a real question mm-hmm. how was that the first time that you ever performed how was that the first time i ever performed was at a talent show when i was 16 that was like my first com- well i was performing but that was like my first like competition you okay. know what i mean that okay. i was saying when i was 16 i was doing stuff at schools and stuff like that um but it was it was a it was scary you know what i'm saying because yeah. this wasn't just my family in a room telling me i'm good and being supportive you know yeah. this is like a whole crowd of people so it was a scary experience for me i ended up getting second place that's what it is <laughs> he gets the horn for that <laughs> I ended up getting second place, but you know it was scary, you know. But you know, if you're always gonna have nerves when you're doing things like that, yeah, like yeah. If that doesn't stop, I still get nervous. You know what I yeah. mean? All the time, you know, when before I walk on the stage, but when I get up there, it's like it it, it shuts off, and yeah. I know it's go time. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it was a good experience. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah. I feel like I've developed and you know progressed a lot since then. So okay, okay, let's talk about your, your this track, man. Let's this about- track, no competition. This is my song about not stopping okay. <laughs> you know what i mean this is my song just about saying that hey i feel like i'm in my own lane i'm not seeing what anyone else is doing i'm my own competition i don't feel i have any competition so yeah. and my boy kal from the city he's on this track with me okay another definitely. dope uh r&b singer so on here you get to hear a bit of both of my sides okay. my singing and my rapping on here so. okay you want to introduce the track real quick yeah, it's your girl Kaylee Crossfire, and this is my track, No Competition, featuring Kal El. Hey, man, no competition right here. Kaylee Crossfire, make sure you follow her yes. at Kaylee Crossfire on all social media. Mm-hmm. Kaylee- only Kaylee, only one Kaylee on Instagram and Twitter. Okay. Kaylee Crossfire everywhere else you'll be able to find me. Okay. Make sure you go to her website, KayleeCrossfire.com. Dot com. Mm-hmm. I like. I always like to hear the dot com. Dot com. That, it makes me feel like, okay, you really care yes. about this, this profession. <laughs> yes. Definitely, man. Let's go ahead. No competition. No comp. Let go. Yo, Shantown Number Radio, the best place to be at on any day, really. It's the one and only DJ Malone. And your co-host, Ebony Kiara. And we still out. got my girl into Kaylee the building. Crossfire in the building. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. I really am happy to be up here with you guys. You guys get such, like, live energy. I've been here laughing the whole time. Y'all hey, crazy. man. Hey, that's, that's how we do it here, man. <laughs> so, uh, Ebony, how you been, though? It's good. It's a good day. It's it, nice outside. It feels really, really good outside. Man, man. You can, it's hard to be in a bad mood when the sun is shining, yes. the weather is popping. So, you know, you know it's lit. It's lit. <laughs> Definitely, man. Um, last, last week was my birthday. Oh, oh, happy birthday. birthday. The latest birthday. birthday. So it was you turned up. Was the turn up real? I didn't do nope. anything for my birthday. You did not. No, I didn't want to do anything. You didn't? No bucket list? No. I, I didn't want to see anybody. Okay, I feel. Oh, yeah. We be like that sometimes. You know, the older you get, that's how I be. Though. You be like, I don't want to celebrate yeah. my birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, for my third, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'll be 20. I turned 29. So right. I didn't really want to do anything because... I mean, okay, the thirty, I, the thirty, the thirty, the thirty, the 30, 30. Yeah, the thirty. That's when I say goodbye. That's my last day. I could do anything True. crazy, yep. anything irresponsible. <laughs> that's the last day I'm gonna do it. So I don't want to interview you, but I always said uh, for my thirtieth birthday, I wanted to go to Jamaica. Okay. I got a few years to go yet, but that's that's what I want to do. Where any place you want to go? 
I definitely want to go. That Jamaica sounds nice. I don't want to be a bum. I want to be a Clear water, cat. sun, yes. beach, all that. What would you want to go, Ebony? For my dirty 30? I don't know. I'm thinking. Ah. It's slowly approaching. So, I mean, I haven't thought that far yet. So, it's going to be big, though. Yeah, it's right. Big. Yeah. I mean, 30, yeah. You only turn 30 yeah, once. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like 18, 21, 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, cause <laughs> after this, after this, after 30, you won't get nothing until 50. Right. right. So it's over after that. It's so. over. So it's it'll over. be something creative, Project big, something, 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 something. Definitely, man. <laughs> so, talk to us about the, the track that we just heard, man. Now, were you talking to somebody? Uh, or you, you just know laying what? it down? That was just kind of my, like, pump myself up song. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was just my song to just tell myself, like, you're in your own lane. Like, don't let anyone try to stop you from what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Right, feel, right. feel as if you have no competition because I'm really just focused on myself at this point in my life. Like, I don't care what anyone else is doing. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm right. my own competition. I just strive to be a better me than I was last year. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, that song is just kind of a motivational song for anyone. You okay. know? So, listen to that when you're in the gym. Like, you don't got no competition. You're trying to get the summer body right. You don't got no competition. You just listen to that. Right. Okay. <laughs> go, go. So, yeah. Shout out to my boy Kal who was on there with me, too. That's like big. Bro, he, he kind of was like a little mentor for me when I first started because he was, you know, doing this, um, you know, for a while now. So, okay, shout out to him for that. How long, um, how long have you been, I guess, songwriting? Has it has always been the, the case since you've been rapping? Yeah, I think so. Like, I think, um, around the time I first started, like, you know, experimenting with music, I just started writing my own little songs and stuff. I will give myself a good, like, I was. I got a passion for the music when I was 12. I guess 16 was when I really got serious about everything. When okay. I started getting out here, doing little compositions and shows and writing my own uh, material and going to the studio and things like that. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go, sure. go, go. Mm-hmm. Ebony, anything you want to ask or uh, tell her? Or- same thing. I was just admiring this graphic work on this. Uh, oh, thank you. This the is unveiling. this is this is dope. Yes, like, that is my new. I brought gifts for all my people yes, up here. Hey. You know, for inviting me out today, I get hooked everybody up with my new um, mixtape, the unveiling. Y'all make sure you guys check that out. That's able for you guys to download off my website www.kayleecrossfire.com. You can also find that joint on that piff as well. Uh, so it's on there and it's free. Y'all go check that out. They got some nice little cuts on there. You got Rihanna Needed Me remix. You got a couple uh, R&B ballads on there. A lot of different freestyles. Um, yes. No, damn daddy is going to be on my. (laughs) Hey, it's available on my damn daddy's available on my website, girl. You miss damn daddy. You gotta go check that. out We gonna gonna replay. We gonna replay damn daddy. All right, that's my female club banger. But that's available on my website as uh, as well. And damn daddy is also on iTunes, so you guys can get that from there. That's the new single. That's going to be on my new EP that I plan on releasing in May. Let's 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 talk about the mixtape. I was just gonna say. So, how long did it take you to get into this and and um? Bring it all together, per se. So okay, how- well, I'm going to be 100 with you. This is the project right here that I, you know how I was just telling you, Malone, that, you know, I had some obstacles in my life and right, I right. took, like, a little hiatus away from music. So this project within itself took me a little bit of time to complete. But when I really was able to overcome all the personal issues in my life, I got it done relatively quickly, probably within, like, four months. I was okay. able to get everything done. But there are a few tracks on here that are kind of older. Um, you wouldn't know though, because I, you know, went back in and improved a few things. Okay. Um, but there are a few, a few older ones on there. Actually, no competition is on here. Okay. That's an older okay. cut. That cut was probably done about a few. I don't know. I would say three years ago or so. Let but me, it still has that fresh. You know what I mean? Raw. You know, that's real. that's good engineering though. Let, let me know? let me ask you this. What does the name mean to you? The unveiling. The what? unveiling. Well, that name is really kind of personal. It, it just was me. Wanting to express myself to people and let people know that I am unveiling a lot of things about myself that you may not have known. Like, I have a lot of personal issues, a lot of heartbreaks, heartaches, and things, and, you know, love songs, and you you get a variety of things in there. So, I'm just unveiling some things about me, because I feel like people always kind of just always place me in this box where they just think I have the squeaky clean image, you know, and that I have never been through any rough patches in my life, you know. So, I'm just unveiling the truth. Like, hey, I'm a human being. I have personal issues, like you guys do as well, you know. So... I was just letting it out. So I was just unveiling myself. You know? Presentation is everything. She yes, gets, it is. Uh, she gets Thank a turn. Who shot this pre-tune. photo, though? Thank like, you. Oh, oh, girl, girl, who shot this? Look, who let me designed tell you, baby, you let, me, it up. let me give my man <laughs> a shout out, baby. Y'all can go to my IG. Okay. okay. Um, only one Kaylee. I have a lot of photos on there. I've been working with the same photographer, y'all, since I started doing music. Very loyal to those who I work with. Really? So, Roche Buford. He is one of the top 
of the line high fashion photographers in my city and everywhere he does work everywhere he travels so you know people come to him you know all type of you know models directors everybody who needs any work um he's just a great guy he's a great photographer and like i said he's been shooting me since i first started um i just trust him his vision his touch you know everything like that i feel the most comfortable with him you feel comfortable you get some dope images you know what i mean the thing is like you know with my models the, the the comfortability has to be there. Yes, it it, it, it has to it has to come natural. Mm-hmm. I believe that the best pictures come naturally yes. and off yep. when you're really not paying attention. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 That's true. And you know, like you have to just have like the right coaching as well. You know what I'm saying? Like no one kind of turns into like an instant model. Like you know how I was telling you, I right. you know I started my modeling team um, as well. So they were all fresh models when we first got together right, you know right. like i said you guys could check out my instagram page you probably got to scroll down a little bit because i i don't officially have that team anymore but when i did you know me being um i guess you could say i model as well because you know as an artist you have to take photos so yeah. you know i was doing that as well so i was able to coach them into it and i really did see the progression from you know when they first did images so just a, a short time after so the right coaching and you know that right photographer who's making you feel comfortable like you can achieve a lot you know those girls really did by the time i was done helping them mold themselves they looked very high end and very commercial and you yeah. know we were getting a lot of great bookings with different law firms um we was getting some nice little bookings you know it's all about your image so i really you know and i get that from roche i shout out to him a lot because he helped kind of mold my image and he yeah. told me about the things and and uh uh, Champ Robinson as well. That's my videographer. He actually moved to California. And now he's doing big things there. Um, but you know, these guys have all helped me with my image. You know what I mean? And just made me know what the, uh, you know, made me appreciate great quality. When I first started, I'm not gonna lie. I had some shitty quality videos, some shitty, you know. It, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse my language. I can see I got a little comfortable with y'all up in here. It's all good. I'm so sorry. It happened. <laughs> But, um, you know, I had some poor quality things, you know, at first. But working with these people and understanding what quality was, you know, they, you know, they helped me take it up a lot. Presentation is everything. I yes. tell, and, and I tell people, because a lot of people think, I, I had one person, um, when I was interviewing them, they asked, what, what station is this on? Are we mm-hmm. on FM or what, what station is this? Mm-hmm. And people don't realize that we're mainly an online based show. Right. And, but the presentation exactly. of it, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. know. You wouldn't know. Right, exactly. And I think you guys do very well with that. Like, I would say so as well. Like, y'all be hard. Like, I had so many people re-sharing. I'm like, who's all these people? <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all was on it. <laughs> I was just saying that on the way. Like, wow, all these? Okay, cool. You know, yeah. y'all do it right. You know, y'all, y'all all the team. And I can tell y'all very, you know coordinated and planned with y'all stuff it's good oh yeah man y'all yeah. doing it big in here yeah man it's it's, it's love you yes. know what i'm saying and, mm-hmm. and once you find it i'm really big on it's kind of like you once i find the right people yes we need to work together yeah for sure like i'm so serious about that the same photographer same videographer same engineer since i've started Real. same graphic designers like you know you build those relationships with them you just want to keep going from there so yeah definitely so what i want to do is i want to run down a couple of your tracks one more time yes. just in case you know we got new listeners yeah, tuning in y'all and gotta everything. tune in y'all I'm, tuning in so um call in 312-985 talk to me Talk to it. 7834. <laughs> Wanna come right back, man. Now I'm gonna play some exclusives. I got some new joints. I got that riding with the savage. Oh, I, you know, I, I I got two surprises. We're gonna Ooh. wanna come right back, man. Juicy. It's the one and only DJ Malone. And your girl Ebony Kiara. Let's go. I like I like this beat. Mm-hmm. I do. It give you that, that summer feel. Yeah, that yeah. Like cruise, yeah, Lakeshore yeah. Drive yeah, cruise. Yeah, yeah that, that's that, that's what that Lakeshore Drive cruise. Hashtag Lakeshore <laughs> Drive cruise. Hashtag summertime <laughs> shy. Hey man, it's the one and only DJ Malone and your girl Ebony Kiara. And we still got our girl into the building, Kaylee Cross. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta say it like that, Cross Fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, man. Definitely. So. 
Um, now let me ask you this before we go. Okay. Before we get everything situated. All right, all right. I want to ask you this. What's up? Any any projects you got coming up as far as for yes. the summertime? I know you got the video. Anything yes. else? Yes, I am. I'm working on my new um, EP right now. So Damn Daddy is going to be on there. I for nine that you play. So y'all got a little exc- exclusive here Damn. of some nice little cuts that um, are going to be on that project. So Damn, like I said, DJ Malay. <laughs> Damn Daddy. Okay. Damn Daddy. <laughs> Damn Daddy. Yeah, so the- <laughs> So, yeah, those cuts are going to be on the uh, EP that I plan on to release. I'm just, you know, I'm a perfectionist, y'all. Do we have a, a, a name for the EP yet? No. You know what? That's crazy. The thing about how I work with my projects is my name always comes last. Because, I, you know what I mean? Like, once yeah. you have that full body of work, it... it kind of has its personality after that you know what i yeah, mean yeah. and then you'll be able to you know come up with that so my the unveiling actually came um after everything was completed so okay okay and same thing with my um original work so y'all make sure y'all get that um mixtape too it's i think it's 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 a it's an awesome body of work i've got a lot of great response on it and Definitely. you know people are really feeling it so y'all can get okay. that from my website once again www sorry com. so that's where you guys make can sure black people i know i'm talking <laughs> to specifically black people please support <laughs> Yes, support, man. You know, I'm just out here. I'm hustling hard, y'all. I'm out here trying to get it. You know, you know, most of this um, music stuff that I've been doing, I've been doing this on my own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I've been hustling, grinding. I have the right team of people that I work with, but all the work that I put in, you know what I'm saying? I've just been working hard to make it happen. And, yeah, you know, yeah. y'all make sure y'all support that. Please. Support yeah. that new single, Damn Daddy, too, if y'all was feeling that. Y'all can, get that joint. Y'all can get that joint on iTunes. It's on iTunes right now. It's pretty much probably everywhere right now. Um, and you can go directly to my website as well, www.kayleecrossfire.com. <laughs> so, yep. Plug, plug, plug. <laughs> That's what it is. Anything For you sure. want to ask her, Ebony? No, I was too busy insta insta laughing, y'all. Insta-laving. I was lit. <laughs> she over here listening. I was over here listening. She over here listening. Okay, y'all. no. So, what would be your favorite song on the unveiling that you've done? My favorite song on the Unveiling. What's my favorite song on this joint? I don't know. I don't have a favorite. Honestly, I love them all. Like, okay. and I'm gonna be 100. You know, it's, it's my body of work. So it's like, I wouldn't put out anything that I didn't love or I was unhappy with. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. I think everything on there, y'all will be able to bob y'all head to and y'all, you know, y'all will feel it. So. All right. So let yeah. me change up the question then. What was your favorite track to make? What was be my in the favorite? studio? Jam, but like, what was the t- most turned up track that that was? Fun I, to make? I love 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 on there. That's my R and B banger. I, I actually I should have sent y'all that one too. Um, love is my R and B banger, and that's just about you know that, that's that's real to my heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real. You know that's that's that love banger. So you know I think the ladies will appreciate that. Everybody, I got a video actually for that out too. Y'all could check that out on YouTube, and it's also on my you know everywhere. Pretty much, I told y'all everywhere. Before, so. iTunes, Spotify. Yep. Y'all can get that on there. I, I I enjoy making that because you know it just came. All my music come from the heart, but you know that was that was really from the heart. You know, yeah, so. yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Now it's 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 about that time. It's about that time. You feel like doing a freestyle for? I do a freestyle for y'all. Okay. I don't got no problem with that. Okay. So, all right. All right. So this, let me let me let me give you a beat. The beat that uh, I I really like this one beat. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Now, I got a challenge for you. Mm, you gonna put me on spot like that? Real challenge. All right, let's I go. got a challenge. Now, you you have to rap about three things. You can rap about anything else, but you have to pinpoint on these three things. Ooh, you making it hard. You have to pinpoint <laughs> DJ Malone. Oh. Ebony Kier. Okay. Side Town of a Radio. Okay, let's see. Can you do it? You want me to really come off the dome? I'm a writer. I am a spitter, but I'm just gonna do it for the fun of it. You can sing if you want. I'm gonna do it for the fun of it. Okay. I'm chilling with Ebony and DJ Malone. I'm at Shot Town Radio. Call it the second home. I'm all the way from the mill. You know how we get down. I'm just trying to make it down. Put on for my city now. Woo! You know how I do. I stay with the pen on deck. I get money, but I don't show them the checks. I deposit it. And they ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to get my city right. I'm trying to put on for my family. If y'all don't understand that, then you won't. Everybody see me. I'm giving them. Uh, Hey, you did good. You did good. There's a lot of people. Say, uh, hey, he did good. And I know for you good. not being a spitter, that was pretty I'm not good. A, I'm no, not a spitter, you, did, you did no, because there's a lot of people who they get who, further than I can. Who, who can't do that. I got y'all what a good six bars or something. Yeah. Hey, I like that. Where, 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 where the horns at when I need them? <laughs> 
Thank you, guys. Definitely, man. Definitely. So, um, let me play this game with you real quick. Okay. And this is going to be a crazy little What game. is this now? Uh, you know, I like to do my my game side down. Okay. And this game is like either or. Okay. So, I'm going to give you an example. If, if I say apples or oranges, mm -hmm. you give me which one you like better. Okay. So, okay. we're going to start with this this one question. Okay. I'm going to start it out the gate. Okay. Tupac or Biggie? Ooh. Tupac. Tupac. Okay. Okay. Why? I like Tupac. I don't know. Um, <sighs> why? They were both greats of that era. I just, I, I don't know. I just, I just took more to Tupac, I, I guess. Real, real. It's not really a reason. I just think they were both dope, but I just feel like Tupac just, I kind of connected with him more. I mean, I was young as hell. Like, I'm only 27. So, you know, um. Yeah. That's just who I kind of, you know, okay. the Dear Mama song, you know what I mean? The Brenda had a baby and all of that. Like, you know, that that was just stuff that really just stuck with me. You right. know, so. Okay. Uh, Jill Scott, Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know you better. She, she. Watch out. Oh, my. Some guys, oh, some guys are only oh, bad thing. That thing. Like, <laughs> hey. nah, I love me some Lauren Hill though. I just think, um, I just think she was like a great of the time. She's still a great. Like, you know, she she gave that music with substance. I love that she spit and she sang. You know what I'm saying? That was one of my idols growing up, so it's for sure okay. gonna be Lauren Hill on that one. Okay. Hey. 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 She just came right about. <laughs> okay, definitely. So let me ask you this then. Yep. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna keep on Lauren Hill in there. Lauren okay. Lauren Hill, Erica Badu. Mm, now you getting hot. Now you getting hot. Lady. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how could you compare that though? That's, hard. that's, you, that's a hard that's one. I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> mm, I can't. Okay. On that one, I can't. Like okay. those, those are some dope ladies right there. I can't. Okay, now, that's a hard one. Let me give you. Uh, I'm gonna have to bundle them up. Let, let, let's let, let's spread them out a little bit. Um, okay. Andre three thousand. Andre, okay. T.I. Andre, I liked Andre. I I don't know. He was just kind of crazy with it. Like I don't know. I like his like the more the more recent of the the, yeah. the, the, the two thousands. Like you know what I'm saying. Okay. Like, um, T.I. Cole, too, but they, they different, though. You know what I mean? Like, one is more street to me and one got a little commercial, you know, towards okay. the, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay, let's let's go into the street aspect. Young Jeezy, Walker Flock. Jeezy? Jeezy? Jeezy. Right, like Jeezy? Jeezy all, all the way. way. Uh, Jeezy all the way. Right. Okay. Let's, let's. That song, all oh, there, though. Woo! Oh, baby. Fire. Baby. And you cannot forget Dreaming. Airman Dreaming. Silent. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. right. Exactly. Like no, it, it has to be Jeezy. But okay. I know all there. That's that turn up. That song. I swear to God. I, here's a funny story about uh, all there. I was driving. I was on my way home. I promise you, I'm about to get out the car. That song came on. I stood in the car and got hyped until that song. I'm in front of my house. I would not get out the car until that song was over. That's how much that song hyped me up. Like when you produce something that cold, yeah. that you don't even want to get out the car and you already parked in front of your house to go like. I was partying in my car. I'm so lame, y'all. But, so but yes, What's when it that? come on, like I didn't, know, I didn't know that dude got killed though. I didn't know Ooh, that the guy's fresh. bankroll fresh. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. I had no. That's so. His man, son is actually in that video. Yeah, his little boy is actually oh, in that the, video. The son is. Mm -hmm. Oh, the one who's like holding. I don't know if y'all really pay attention. The one holding the money yeah, and everything. Yeah. That's uh, bankroll's son yeah, in that video. What? It was Jeezy fault. It was Jeezy fault. Who no, it was, uh, oh, it was he bankrupt. Gun Jeezy, I'm not saying <laughs> any of this. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> he did? Yeah, he started with no plug. No plug wasn't supposed to come back either, bro. So he stayed down like he's supposed to. Right. Oh wow, that's that's tragic. That's real tragic. Let's, 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 let's do the last one. Let's okay. go. Let well, two more, two more. Let's okay. go more into the East Coast. Okay. Fifty Cent, Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z. Jay Z all day. Jay Z. Okay. Yeah. Let's go Midwest then. <laughs> all right. Nelly Twister. Damn, I don't know. Twister. Twist. I, I gotta say Twister. No. I don't know though. That's kind of hard too though. That's kind of hard. I'm, I'm talking know. about twi yeah, like okay. Twister is good. So I'm, Twister. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to think of like their, their their hits. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm, I'm not talking about Twister now. I'm talking about Twister, Twister back then, right? Back right. Then. That's, and that's kind of where my mind went to, like back then, Twister. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know. And back then, Nelly. And back then, Nelly. I don't know. Nelly had me, you know, in the club shaking. Oh, not in the club. I wasn't even in the club when that shit was coming. Sorry. Sorry. It's all good. (laughs) Okay. I don't know. That's a hard one. I don't know. Okay. I like them both. They both had some little hits that I did appreciate, you know, so. Okay. My first mom was Twister, so I guess I'm going to have to say Twister. I'm going to go back. Okay. (laughs) Kanye. The old Kanye. Old Kanye. I, I don't even know what you said, the but the old Kanye. Kanye. Old, old, old Kanye. Kanye. I like the sorry. Common. <laughs> old Kanye. Old Kanye. Old Kanye. Old Kanye. I'm going to say the old Kanye for that one. Okay. Still. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Common, like, I, I, I know Common had that substance as well, but I, I don't know. I just I just dug Kanye better. I, I never really was, like, a Common listener. Like, I yeah. love Common as an actor. He dope as hell as an he actor. He is, though. Right? Who like, would have known? That's, yeah, who would have known? That's kind of crazy. But it'd be a lot of, um you know, hip-hop artists that do pretty good as um actors. That's kind of crazy. Okay. okay. But, yeah. Well, that's, that's about it, man. Uh, that's the game right there. That's the game. That was fun. That was a fun game. Yeah. Thank you guys for inviting me out. I had so much fun with y'all. Man, run run it down, man. Give the Facebook, the Twitter, everything where they can find you at. Your stalkers, your lovers. Oh, your all my stalkers and things. Yeah. Okay, well, if you guys would like to see um me, more of me, you guys can go to my um website, www.kayleecrossfire.com, um, or my Facebook fan page, Kaylee Crossfire. If you guys want to get personal, you can follow me on IG at only one Kaylee. So numerical one. Only one Kaylee. <laughs> Ooh. Watch you gonna get some creepy stalker. <laughs> Kaylee. Ew. Kaylee. Ew. I saw I saw you. I saw you on the radio. I wanna I wanna autograph. <laughs> Y'all play Definitely, man. I have fun with you guys. Hey, Thank I, you. I appreciate you stopping by, man. And you know, make sure that you you ever got any new projects, please let send us know, it. man. I will send that joint ASAP. I will send everything new to you guys. Please, please, so we can run it on here, man. Sure thing. Gotcha. All right, man. Thank so, you. Wait, man. It's the one and only DJ Malone. Your girl, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I want everybody to sing Happy Birthday to me. <laughs> oh, okay. No, he didn't even want to see nobody. Uh, you ready? The show is over. Bye, you ready? Y'all. We can sing a happy birthday, y'all. Come on, we got to sing a happy birthday. I want, sh- I want to shout out you better sing. And who's ready? Ready? Everybody. Everybody. Birthday line. Come on, y'all. Y'all ready? Happy birthday. Yes. To you. I'm superior. Happy birthday. Yes. To you. I'm superior. Happy birthday, dear Malone. I'm better than everybody. Happy birthday to you. I like when people sing happy birthday. Definitely, man. Hey, uh, Ebony, where can they find you at? You can follow me on IG, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Ebony Kiera. All pretty much the same. The only one that's different is my Twitter. It's Ebony underscore Kiera. But hit the line. Hit the line. Hey, make sure you guys follow me at DJ Malone Pro. That's for Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Black Planet, Chris Domingo, uh, <laughs> Craigslist, Backpage. Uh, anyways, um, you can also... <laughs> Big Sounds to Trey G, Young Sidetown Ricky, um, and make sure you follow at Sidetown Number Radio oh, yeah. on Facebook and Instagram. We don't have a Twitter because I think Twitter is obsolete now, but that's just right. me personally. I don't really care. So, um, everybody's moving to the Snapchat era. Right. So, it is what it is. Hey, I be on my Twitter uh, lurking. People, Some people still go in on Twitter. I just, be, I just be there for the clapbacks. Right, 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 right. It'd be real. It'd be real. Definitely, man. Hey, I want to say I appreciate you coming by, Kaylee. Thank it's you. It's been a yes, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, is you ever back in town? Have you been here before? Chicago. Oh, girl, yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. Like, she better say. been here before. I, I, say, I, I literally, like, all my family stay here. My mom was born here. Dad was born here. My mom and them, they actually, I had... They had me in Milwaukee. They had my brothers and sisters here, but all my family stay here. Okay, I was gonna go, girl. I was gonna be like, girl, go try some hairs. But you're right, you, you so probably already know hairs? some hairs. Now, you oh. already know the deal, though. So, so, so what you, back, what you back, doing back. after this? What you doing? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm just getting back home and uh, packaging up some product and not like that, y'all. I ain't no dope boy. I ain't no- <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, I got, I got this work right here, though. This uh, Unveiling Mixtape. I got to get packaged right, Make up. sure you guys <laughs> check out the Unveiling Mixtape. It's out right now. Uh, the Unveiling Kaylee Crossfire. 
<laughs> Make sure you guys follow her. Until next time, it's the one and only DJ Malone. Your girl, Ebony Kiera. Sidetown Number Radio. We out. Oh, <laughs> One. Oh.